Okay, welcome back to another video everybody. I've got my computer in front of me here. This was a day, uh, let me actually check. This was a day late, mid to late November off one of the local spots up north. I'd actually forgotten my dive housing for my GoPro so I um, didn't roll a camera that day. Kind of regret it. Just had my big camera and housing and shot a little bit of footage out with the mate. Jacob going to keep his spot secret uh, up there in the north because the spot was just loaded with packies. We did have a couple of areas where a lot of them were in Bury, Bury the females were in Bury and you could go down and sort of um, pretty much pat them just sitting on the seagrass which was pretty cool. I'm going to roll you a couple of clips and I'll just take you through it quickly. How we doing mate? Oh you know you gotta, you got to make sure you separate the boys from the girls when you come out here. <laughs> this is big country. <laughs> no, it's fucking easy. Too easy. We're, we're out here, it's Saturday afternoon. Um, it's a little lumpy, it's certainly lumpier than it, when we made the decision an hour or two ago. Um, but it's all good. It's uh, The sun's half out. There's crayfish around, there's fish around, there's great whites around too, ain't there, apparently. Old Jacob swam the one yesterday, so we'll uh, at the same spot we're going to. So um, we'll do our best. Alright, so there he was, uh, fairly early on, on one of his big packing nests that he knows of, just getting a little bit of burly for them, going to have, have a little cool experience in feeding them up. Um, and as you can see, these ledges we're on, it's not just like typical very shallow, uh, by the shore diving, it's actually a little bit on deeper ledges, I can't recall the tide exactly. Uh, on, on this time of day, but most of the drops were down to sort of 10, 12 meters. This is just a little spot where uh, Jacob found a couple of crays. We wanted to film them for a club, wanted to try to feed them out. So we're just having a little look on this drop. And as you can see, the packies, a lot of these packies in this ground sit, I wouldn't say way back in holes because the ground doesn't lend that to them. There's no big caves that they could sit right back in. So they're actually, for the most part, pretty straightforward to just grab. You can see there Jacob threw a little bit of burley down, a little bit of that pigfish down for that packy. And this is the drop here to actually, with the intent of taking a packy for dinner. You can see, just filming, I got my big housing. I let Jacob get down there and get himself ready, well, most of the way down there before I drop. Because just in case he has to move around a little bit and then I get to pinpoint my spot a bit easier. Helps him get in position. As you can see, he's waiting for me there. Clean grab, and as you can see, she's in berries, so that's got to be let go. Another one right here. Jacob's a big guy. Now, Jacob's about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, this is another female in berry, so with a bit of, uh, you know, you can tell it's a big crayfish just due to the size of Jacob. Another one let go, another, as mentioned, a female in berry. Now this was one of his little nests. Jacob has a spot where he just uh, has, has his marks for so he can find them very easily. This is one of the bigger nests. As you can see, another ledge. Hardly a difficult grab. They've they got no big caves to go into and there's about half a dozen packies in here with one quite big buck that uh, Jacob grabs on the next clip here. You can see that little pigfish burly in the corner of the shot there. Now this is a grab for Jacob. I was a fraction bit late on this drop to sort of get in there with him and actually film him grabbing it. But as you can see, this this packy here is a quite a large pack horse crayfish. They put up a bit of a scrap. Of course, if you're grabbing them, they're going to grab you. And they're not the sort of size fish that you want to just let them poke into you. They usually make you bleed through your gloves or can make you bleed through the gloves. I know I was that day. And um, that was really it for the dive and the dive footage. Couple of photos here at the end which we grabbed quickly, which I thought the, the first one there is a good indication of what it's actually like holding on to a pa big packy, not really going according to plan. And um, that's it, just from a beautiful little afternoon in the water. Uh, I'm Sam Price, I'll see you at the beach.